Good evening, church. I know these are challenging days, and certainly a first for each of us. I hope all is well with you, and if there's anything that you need, please be sure to let me know. Unless it's toilet paper, then I may not be able to help you. Just kidding. If there's anything you need, please let me know. Well, tonight, in our midweek Bible study, we would have looked at Psalm 13. I was looking at it a few minutes ago, and I thought, how fitting. Listen to this. Psalms 13 says, How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord? Forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall mine enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Lighten mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest mine enemy say, I have prevailed against him, and those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord, because he hath dealt bountifully with me. It's a good chapter, isn't it? I just wanted to give you a few thoughts about this real quick. Verse 1 and 2 says again, How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord, forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Are you feeling like asking God how long? <laughs> David is doing something that sometimes we find ourselves needing to do. He's confessing to God his despair, his loneliness, his sorrow, his fear. God knows our heart already, so don't be afraid to let him know your frustrations and your fears. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear, all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. In verses 3 and 4, we see David crying out to God to lighten his eyes. He's, he's crying out for understanding and deliverance. We often cry out to God for understanding and what, what is God doing here? Enlighten me, O oh God. Let me see what you see. We don't often get the answer to this prayer, but there's certainly nothing wrong with taking your, talking to your father about your concern. Now in verse 5, I, I see three things that we can do after we have poured our heart out to God. Number one, trust in his mercy. Mercy is God not giving us what we deserve. Remember who you serve. We serve a merciful God. Just trust in what you already know about God. And just keep your eyes on Jesus. O oh soul, are you weary and troubled? No light in the darkness you see? There's light for a look at the Savior and life more abundant and free. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face and the things of this earth will just grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Secondly, rejoice in your salvation. Be thankful for what God has already done. God's got you in his hand. Romans 8, 38 and 39 says, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Just trust Him. Rejoice in Him. And then thirdly, sing to God. You know, there's something powerful about singing. When you're feeling discouraged, sing. When you're feeling trapped in your house, sing. When you feel angry, sing. If you'll just trust him, rejoice in the things that you know about him, and out of a heart of obedience, sing to him. You'll be amazed at how much better you feel. I really look forward to holding our first ever online service this Sunday at 11 a.m. Be patient with me, I'm new at this, and we don't have the greatest or fastest internet here at the church but we'll make it work. We have a temporary new normal. If you're able, please give in the online offering. You can download the app Tithely from the Android Play Store or the Apple App Store. Then just follow the prompts. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a call. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Enjoy your time with your family. May the Lord bless you. I love you guys. Have a good night.